was just a boy at the time when this drinking Uncle Hiram of mine decided he'd make up a batch of homemade beer. Don't tell a soul, he said to me, but I've come across this recipe that says for pennies a day I can drink all year. So I searched the alleys behind the bars for empty jugs and mason jars, and he sneaked them down to his basement brewery. He measured out yeast and sugar and hops, and he said to me as we sealed the tops, for goodness sakes, don't tell your Aunt Marie. Cause she'd say, hey there, Hiram, what's going on down there? There's some peculiar odor coming up the basement stairs. Go back to your sewing, hun, I'm varnishing a chair. The time my Uncle Hiram made his famous homemade beer. Well, we let it set for a month or so, then me and Uncle sneaked down below, a figuring it was time to give it a try. I was standing there at the foot of the stairs and Uncle Hiram was checking the wares when all of a sudden two bottles just blew sky high. The jars went crash and the lids went clunk and Hiram dived behind a trunk as the beer began to spew out on the floor. Uncle yelled, don't mind me, save yourself. So fast as I could, I ran up the steps and out of breath, I quickly slammed the door. Aunt Marie came crying, what is it, dear? I said, it's Uncle's homemade beer. It's blowing up and got Uncle trapped down there. She said, beer, beer, well I'll declare, Hiram, you come up out of there. But the sound of exploding beer was all we could hear. Hey there, Hiram, what's going on down there? There's some peculiar odor coming up the basement stairs. Go back to your sewing, hun, I'm varnishing a chair. The time my uncle Hiram made his famous homemade beer. Well, it sounded like a war for a day and a night. The bottles just blew up left and right till finally we just heard one here and there. So Aunt Marie took a comforter and holding it up in the front of her with me behind, we started off down the stairs. Well, the place was a mess to say the least. The walls were sticky and smelled like yeast. The glass and the lids and the beer lay all around. It had been quite a battle, there was no doubt. But when we began to look about, Uncle Hiram was nowhere to be found. And he cried out, Hiram, oh poor dear, he's been killed by a jar of beer. I warned him a drink, but he never listens to me. Then up came the lid on the antique trunk, and there soaked in beer, blind, running drunk, was a late lamented love of Amberie's. And he said, rather than see it all go to waste, I decided I might as well have a little taste. Reckon I've tasted about 43 jars of beer. Y'all can just go on, because I'm staying right here.